get right into it. Starting with who's it? Are your syndication networks still powered by IFTTT? Yes. How have the changes to their model affected what you do? Well, they haven't changed, affected anything yet because the final change doesn't go into effect until tonight or tonight at midnight or tomorrow, tomorrow at 12.01 or whatever. <laughs> so today's the last day. Um, but as, as from what I understand, and I actually had a call with an IFTTT representative, like a, a Zoom call, uh, about this specifically, and it's not going to affect anything that we do because we purchased a pro account so that we can create applets still and publish them so that we can do that in MGYB for syndication network orders, as well as for syndication Academy, which by the way, that is in the process of being updated now, guys, uh, we're going to be relaunching that again, um, but updated. So, uh, just be on the lookout for that. But as far as you guys are concerned, and I see there's a bunch of questions about that in here, and I understand. Uh, so we're going to cover this again today. And uh, it may change because once everything goes into effect tonight or whenever, today's being the last day on, under the old IFTTT system, then you know by next Wednesday, if any changes have occurred that I'm incorrect about, we will know by next Wednesday and we can cover it again next Wednesday. But just very, very briefly, I'm going to walk you through how it from what I understand and from what the IFTTT representative told me, it's not going to change anything. You just won't be able to create more than three applets in your account, period. That's it. You can still turn on unlimited amount of applets, even with the, the free account, but you can only create three applets. Okay. So I logged into my IFTTT account here. I'm just going to show you. If you go to the explore tab, so click the explore button when you're logged into IFTTT, and you just do a search. All of ours are very simply titled, and it's been that way since I created them way back in 2012. But like, for example, if I say RSS to WordPress, for example, and we just scroll down, you'll start, remember RSS to WordPress, uh, RSS trigger is always going to be an orange color. But you could just scroll through here and find some of them and any one of them that are labeled Robert R. Mills. Now, I know I said WordPress, so I might need to actually type out WordPress. But um, anything that says Robert R. Mills, those are ones that I created, applets that I created with the original Syndication Academy. Actually, it might have been version two. It, it probably was version two. But you can see this has been downloaded 19 or used, excuse me, 19,300 uh, times. And this is RSS to Twitter. And that's Robert R. Mills. You can see a stack of them here. You might have, like I said, look for WordPress or whatever. But just click into it, add your uh, you know, go to settings, which is over here, covered up by the Zoom thing. And in fact, how come, oh, I'm not connected to Twitter. That's why this, but if I was connected to Twitter, then there'd be a settings button. You just click settings and then you can add your RSS feed in there. Does that make sense? Uh, or same thing with, if we back up and go to explore again and we say like YouTube, let's just look at YouTube to Twitter and see if it comes up that way. We just scroll down and like YouTube to Twitter right there. Vernon E. Dunn. Yeah, okay. So Vernon E. Dunn was from the second version of IF, uh, Syndication Academy. Robert R. Mills was from the first version. Okay, so again, YouTube like to Twitter. That's one of them there. YouTube to Dig Digo. Um, another one, YouTube to OneNote. So you just got to find them, guys. It's very, very simple. Just all the, the uh, applet titles or originally they were called recipes, but then they switched to applets. They were all titled similarly like this. And Robert R. Mills or Vernon E. Dunn, D-U-N-N, -N, are the, the two sets of applets that I created both in the original Syndication Academy and in Syndication Academy version two. Uh, and so any one of those should work. You just got to go select one of it and then uh, make sure your service is connected. So like Twitter, WordPress, all that. And then just go into settings and put in your own RSS feed, or if it's YouTube, make sure that your YouTube channel is connected. And that should be it. That's my understanding. Okay. So anyone, to... and, yeah, any of those that are already created are, are available. Is that as if they're going to disable any of this? You, you're going to be able to connect these that are, that are available. I mean, I don't understand what the problem is, why people don't understand what's happening. It's the creation. If you want to create your own, if you want to do your own connection, let's say you come up with something different. And you want to create what used to be called a recipe, you're not going to be able to do that. It has to exist already in there. If not, and you need to create more than three, then you're going to have to pay for that. That's all. That's the only thing, as far as I understand, and I've also chatted with, with these people, 
that's all that's changing. There's nothing different. And just in case, we did go ahead and get a pro account so that our people can go in there and work and create them because right. with the new syndication academy, we might come up or we're going to try to come up with, with, with new, I still call them new outlets, new ways to, to get into all these different things, especially since our uh, syndication academy VA is exploring a bunch of different new websites, right? And, and how we can go in and manipulate all of the different ones. So she has a list of, uh, to go in and manipulate. And so we might need, we might need to create them, but then those will be available to you also, because you know once they're created, they're there to be connected. That's right. I don't understand why people are having such a problem with this. Why there's such disinformation out there or misinformation? Because there, there was a webinar where they were saying just the opposite. Oh, it's going to disappear. The sky is falling. And they were probably trying to sell you some other bullshit. Don't go for it. Just wait. You know, this, I mean, yeah, you, you should make contingency plans. But we already, we, if, if you're getting that from us, from MTYB, we've already made the contingency plans. We're already there, guys. That's what, that's what we're there for. That's why you're here listening to us. Because you're kind of counting on us to make this thing keep on happening. And that's what we're going to do. And, and, and it's really that simple. I don't understand what the big issue is. No, nothing really changes. Yeah, I mean, I can see a lot in here that I created, like YouTube, the Tumblr video pro post is Bradley Benner. Look at that. Another Vernon E. Dunn. Uh, here's Contractor HO, which stands for Hangouts, the YouTube, the Facebook page. So, I mean, there's a bunch of them in here that I created that are already or that I published either through my own account or some of my, you know, persona accounts. And they're all in here, guys. So all you got to do is just select them and then add your your details. That's it. OK. All right, but we'll cover it again next week because after the changes go through tonight, um, this being the last day, then if there's anything that isn't working correctly, we will know about it.